Hi, it's Diana with Screens and Focus, and I am back with my What to Watch This Week. And I know it's been a little while, but I have been podcasting on The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon, which I absolutely loved. If you've ever been a Walking Dead fan, you must go watch this series. It was so good. And I'm also currently podcasting on Fear the Walking Dead. It's its final season. So you can check those out at screensandfocus.com. But right now I'm here to give you a six TV and movie recommendations. The first one, I was able to go watch Killers of the Flower Moon. And this is a highly anticipated film for me. I really wanted to watch it because I had heard so much about it. It is a Martin Scorsese film. It stars Leonardo Leonardo DiCaprio and Robert De Niro and Lily Gladstone and it is a long movie it's three and a half hours long I didn't feel that three and a half hours when I was there so that's a good thing but the movie is a little bit slow but it is beautifully done and I was made aware of these Osage murders that I had no idea occurred in 1920 it, it's just crazy what rich wealthy people, men, will do to get their hands on other people's money. So um, it was very eye-opening. Robert De Niro was crazy good as this guy. He just had that mobster vibe, and he was like scary feeling. You could see it in his eyes. He's such a good actor. So just go. I would recommend you watch this, but just know it's a little bit slow, and it's three and a half hours long. Okay totally different side of the spectrum here watched binge watch selling sunset season seven on netflix this is about a brokerage firm in los angeles uh, beverly hills every all the affluent areas in la and these really gorgeous women who are very uh, smart in in real estate selling these properties and you just get to see oh my god these houses that people buy is just kind of crazy but really you kind of tune into the drama of these women and their lives with each other and uh ugh, man it's kind of a crazy a crazy ride but i tend to like these type of reality shows and so i have fun watching them so that is out there it's, yes it's super petty but i can't help it i'm a, a real housewives fan too but this has been really good. So check out Selling Sunset on Netflix. Okay, you know what else I watch? Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction. This was on Disney Plus and I had to watch it um, because I love so many of the artists that I saw were going to be on there. So Cheryl Crow was inducted, Rage Against the Machines, which I didn't know until I watched it. And I was um, pleasantly surprised to learn more about them. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, Kate Bush. Um, and, you know, she had that popular song that was, um, and I love that song, that was on uh, Stranger Things. But also George Michael and Willie Nelson. I mean, Willie Nelson is 90 years old, and he was up there singing on stage, and he was just great. It was so good to see him. And also George Michael. I, I've always loved George Michael. I loved Wham, loved George Michael. But not until I saw this again was I reminded of all the great songs that I love about this. So I would highly recommend checking that out on Disney+. Plus. Oh, so I'm a big fan of Sylvester Stallone. So I've been watching uh, Tulsa King. That is out. You should check that out. He's so good in it. But I saw that this documentary popped up on Netflix called Sly. So I watched it in two parts and it was good. And oh, I, I also watched of uh, Sylvester Stallone. He has a, a reality show. I think it's on Paramount Plus possibly. It's with him, his wife and his girls. And so you learn more about his daughters. It's mostly about his daughters. But he is such, you know, he's such a prominent part of them and their lives and everything. So anyway, I feel like there's been a lot of Sylvester Stallone. So I had to watch this because, yes, I watch all Rockies and Rambos. So um, it was really good getting the insight into his upbringing and how he was raised and how that impacts who he is today. And sort of the soul searching he does uh, as he tells you about his life in this world of you know entertainment and movies so it was a really good watch it's only an hour and a half so check that out on netflix 
Okay, I also watched No Hard Feelings with Jennifer Lawrence. This is a sex comedy, and I had been wanting to watch it, so we sat down and watched it. It was our Saturday night movie. It was good. It was watchable. It was funny. Um, it had its moments, so I wouldn't say I was, like, dying of laughter, but it, it, it did have its funny moments, and if you just want something just to sit down and, and just watch this would probably do it for you. Plus, it was nice to see Jennifer Lawrence again in a movie. Okay, the last movie I want to recommend, it's called Fingernails. And it's on Apple TV. And I jumped in without even knowing what this was about because I knew who was in it. And so Jesse Buckley, Riz Ahmed, and Jeremy Allen were in it. And I really am a big fan of Riz Ahmed. I just love everything he does. And then Jeremy Allen with The Bear. So I thought, oh, I have to tune in. So I just jumped in to watch it. I thought, what the heck am I watching? This is about fingernails. But I don't want to give very much away, but it is an odd movie. So know that, okay? So it is an odd movie, but it's super intriguing. I had to see what was going to happen. I wanted to know where this was going. And it's, um, I think there are people who love it and people who don't, but it has stayed with me. I just cannot stop thinking about it, about fingernails, about positive, positive testing, and you'll know when you see it. But just know that uh, I liked it. I liked it. So there you go. Those are my six recommendations. Um, I'm going to periodically put these lives out. Uh, I won't be weekly as I normally do, but if you want to hear more of what I am putting out, let me know that because I will do it more often if this is helpful to you because I want to share with you what I'm watching and what I think of TV and movies. And also I want to remind you to go to screensandfocus.com to subscribe to my website. And remember that these are on my uh, on Facebook Lives. You can also go to YouTube. All my social media is at screensandfocus.com and you can get to um, different places to see all the content that I put out. Also my blog posts on screensandfocus.com. I want to thank you for stopping by. Please let me know if you've watched any of these movies, if you have recommendations for me, because I would love to hear that too. Thank you again. And uh, I just want to remind you to, you know, just keep watching, keep exploring and keep those screens in focus and have a great week and weekend. Bye.